Going into the first verse, they always come out of that five count of G into an A minor, C. So then, first verse, or actually all, the verses are in sets of two, and each set of two starts with this D minor, F, F, C. So it's like twilight rain on a broken chain. That's D minor. F stays on F, goes to C. And then there's three different chord changes that could happen in the song. The first one is A minor, E flat, F, E minor. So that, again, that nothing out of line there, but the good old E flat comes into play. It's not a big deal for Lesh because he tunes down his bass a half step, or I mean a whole step on the low string to a D, so he just plays a first fret. But anyway, on a guitar, Jerry does it with the uh, first finger on the D first fret, third finger on the G third fret, and fourth finger on the B, fourth fret. It's like like a D moved up and just playing the bottom half of it, and raising the D note up a half step. So it's A minor to that E flat. Looking for familiar faces. So again, just three strings, first fret D, third fret G, fourth fret B coming right after an A minor. So we're going A minor, C, D minor, F, F, C, A minor, E flat, and then just an F, wherever you want to play it. And like Jerry kind of pick, finger picks through this. So he does F to E minor, G. So that first Looking for familiar faces in an empty window pane. So that's A minor, E flat, F, E minor, G. So that whole first verse is D, Twilight Rain. Uh, I'll point
point out Jerry doesn't look there. So that's the lick Jerry does between the verses. Which is uh, just a little lick in G. But classic Jerry, he does a D string 12, hammer to 14, to the G 12. 12, and then put the third finger down and slide it from 14 to 16. slide to 16 and then put your second finger down on the B 15 and then hit the first finger on the 14 E and hammer it to the second finger 15 so it's let you hear that section as the second part of the two sets of, of verses it's D minor F sus F A minor so it's D I call it a B flat note third so D minor B flat note third F A minor so D minor flat no third is a, it's like a B flat bar chord played where you just don't play the uh, the uh, the uh, B string so it, you're doing uh, A string first fret D string third G third and then B and E both on the first again so you're just laying your first finger your first figure flat across it, barring it. It's like an A. So it's one, three, three, open, open. I'm sorry, one, three, three, one, one. So you're doing D minor, B flat note third, and it just goes to a regular F to an A minor. So it's like So you can do that any number of ways, whatever's comfortable for you. You can just skip the lower first fret and just do it with second or third D pinky on the third G and the first finger flat on the first and on the B and E. So you could like traditional C walk down so it's a C chord where your 
finger picking through it. Where you're going third fret A, second fret D, open G, first fret B, open E. And then just lower that A string from third to second. And just play second A, open D, open G, first B. It's just a regular C, then an A minor, and then a G to an F. So we're going. Again, starts with D minor, L, L, C. So it's will sky. Then that next change is like going say L, C, love, G, L, C, G, your brother, D minor, and then lift up your. Your G string finger and put it down on the D second fret. Then a G. And Jerry again uses this G where he's just kind of using his pinky on the B third fret. He's not doing a big strong G, he's just doing. So, anyway, that, that verse is. D minor, F, F, they're all like that, F, G, D minor, raise it to an E bottom, G, and that's G, G sus, G, and then it's always ends A minor, C, and then the next part is always going to start down with with the E or the D minor, the B flat, no third, F, A minor, and then again the C walk down, F, and then second time it gets to that, instead of going to E minor, it goes to A minor. It's going to go to the chorus. So, I'll show you that whole second set of verses. Listening for the secret
on the B flat and F's, Jerry's going. Which is the B string uh, 11. It's like you're playing like a B flat chord up here with a fifth on the top. But anyway, you're going uh, B 11, G 10. E 13, 11, 10, 13, B, G, E, and then go, lay your first finger flat and go 10, 10 on the B and the G, and then the pinky still on the 13th. So you're going, and you can kind of pick through them if you want. Okay, but then you, so that's, uh, so come down and do the G, and answer it with, and then, uh, last time, it does the, the little, the little, little lick to end it, so, Get you that far. that little lick to end, to end is, so it's 12 with the third finger on the G, hit 12, slide up to 14, then 13 on the B, second finger, back to 14 G. Then 13 on the B, hammer to 15 which is the second finger hammer into the fourth. And then 13E, 15E, sliding to 15 to 17. So I'll let you hear that. Okay. So that's okay. So now we're at the third set of verses, November and more. So that starts out like any other verse, D minor, F, F, C. Now it goes D minor, C major 7, F, E minor, G. So D minor, C major 7, F.
7. F minor is the key to the G. And this part always goes D minor, D flat note third. Okay, so D minor, and then C major 7, just like a C, and you just lift your first finger up, so you're playing 3, 2 on the A and the D, and then open, open, open on the G, B, and E. So you're coming off of a D minor to that. And then just a regular F, E minor, G. So D minor, F, 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 C, D minor, C major 7, F, E minor. the E minor, it goes so that's a D minor after the E minor so D minor and then go 3, pull off to 1 on the B then to G, you go two, pull off to open. Same thing on the D. So we got three, one, three, pull to one, two, pull low, two, pull low, three, pull low on the A. Coming off of D e minor, D e minor, and then which is third fret A, open A, second. come to the, the solo. So then we come to the, the solo. And the, the lick there is actually pretty easy. Just going to use the first and third fingers and 
of the started on the uh, A string uh, fifth to the third finger, and then go to the D string to the first and third finger. So it goes uh, three, five, four times. So we're going. A, A string five, and then we go three, five, four times. And then it goes, which is five, three on a G. Three five three on the G and the D. So it's five D and then five three five three on the G D. So we're going five A three five four times on the D and then five three on the G and then five on the D and then five three five three on the G and the D. the same thing. Instead of going 5-3, five, 5-3, three, five, three, you can always go 5-3, five, 5, back to 3 on the G. So they switch off. So... whether you're going to go 5-3-5-3 five, three, five, three, or 5-3-5 five, three, five, back up to 3 on the G. I think some of them do it one way and the, some of the others do it the other way and they never really do it the same way together. So that that's a cool riff because you can you can do it up here on the the D and the G string. times and then 13 11 on the B and then 12 G then 15 I'm sorry 13 11 on the B 12 10 G time we'll go up. So you can either go or same way you were doing down here. Anyway, you can do that lick all over the place. Um, That's another variation. So 
that solo has a, a bar of three in it that throws people off. But it starts out D minor for four beats and then a C major seven for three beats. And using for this, we'll just do a D minor up here on the fifth fret. And you can kind of hammer onto it. So. And what it is, it's like a lick, lick of three and then like a fourth beat is almost like a just a strum. So, but I like to do a... I like to make my fours with the hammer too. And that C major 7 is... Uh, Sorry, E3, A3, D5, G4, B5, E3. Looks like you're doing an A major 7 down here. And then you're just doing it with the last three fingers. Just moving that up to the fifth fret. Dropping your first there's a bar. So anyway, it's a D minor. Then it'll go up here, do a G minor with the same. And it'll do that again, four beats. And then it'll do F and E minor, each two beats. So it's doing D minor, four beats, C major seven, three beats. G minor, four beats, F, two beats, E minor, two beats. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. three fingers and just play your first finger flat on the D, G, and B. So you're like almost pulling off. So it's one, two, three. And I like to use it E minor with the, because uh, you're already in that hand shape. So you just lay your pinky flat on the uh, 12th fret B, I'm sorry, E, B, and G. And the first finger just on the D uh, ninth. That's an E minor. Or you can use one here, which gives you another hammer. time it comes out of that jam into the chorus G to the B flat F G just same thing we were doing before
and then last one. does that little lick twice as long on each one of those instead of it goes so we're coming out of Sorry, I'm out of order here. That is a B string, 10th, hammering to 11th and pulling back to 10. 10, 11, 10. Like a triplet. Triplet, triplet, triplet. And then do 10, 12, 10 on the G. 10, 12, 10 on the D, and 10, 12, 10 on the A. So. Last time. Oh. Okay, so it has the uh, C, C minor, and and you can do it like this, but you can improvise off of it too. Just do a C minor chord and go the first four strings. get to the B string, go a uh, third hammer, fourth pull, the third. So you're going one, two, three, four. Go. And then go G string D, D. Now we're on a F major 7, which 
which we're going to trace. first finger flat on the top three strings fifth fret so hit to G fifth so we're going sliding pinky third first and then we'll do another like we did here This time it goes five six five to five G seven D. So Then just do a D minor the same way we were doing with the exact same way we did the C minor, where we're doing the bottom four strings in order, and then a little hammer pull, and then G D. important. I think it was a B minor. So we're doing after the D minor, slide up on the uh, D string, third finger, ninth fret, then do G string, seventh, first finger, and then back to ninth on the D. And then so, and I'll teach you that walk down. But C minor, F major seven, D minor, that little lick, and then oh. so. string 12 and the third finger on the D string 12 which is like a G and we're gonna do a walk down and go back to the C minor so and the notes here it's a really cool little scale if you were to put your we're just going to do it with, with like chords. Which I love, but the actual scale is. So we come off of. So you go. 
pinky on G7. Uh, Second finger on G fifth, first finger on G fourth. It's like a major scale. And then put your pinky on the D string seventh. Right? But then move your hand over and do first finger on D fifth, and then A string fourth, second, and first fingers on the eighth, sixth, and fifth. So it's like a, and then things get minor, and pinky on the E, eighth. So you're like going G, four, two, one, four on the D, then shift your hand and go one on the D, four, two, one on the A. Anyway, we're going to do that up here. And if you notice, those bottom notes are the same notes that we're doing here. So, we're going to go what I call a major. Just gonna go, which is like a, uh, like I said, the B string 12, D string 12, and then move it down two frets to B string 10, D string 10, and then do like a, a C one, which is a, a, a B string 8, a D string 9, and do 8, 9. Six, seven. So do that. Move it down too. So we're going essentially twelve, ten, eight, six. So it's twelve, 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 eight, nine, six, seven. Again, this is on the B and the D. It looks like that's our major. Then we do the minor. So, and that is like a B, like a C minor. You're just doing the, just keeping the shape you were actually on. 10, or 12, 10, 8, 6. So just move that same shape down two more. So you're going 12, 10, with the G kind of, of, of uh, little, set of notes, and then you're going to the C, and doing that on 8, 6, 4, so it's 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, which puts you right on the C minor, and then do, do again the 3, 3, 1, open, which is 3, 3 on the, the B and the G, one one on the B on the D and the B open on the D and the B. So you're going back to C minor. So we're coming off of that. got the C minor to the F major 7th, D minor, walk up, I'm sorry, slide up, then the walk. C minor, F major 7th.
that is. So we're coming off with it. Sliding from seven to nine, third finger, to G seven, back to the D nine. So when then when you hit that D nine, slide it up to twelve. So you're going seven slide to nine, going up to G hitting a note, coming back to D hitting seven. I'm sorry, 9 and sliding up to 12. So you're there for then the B, B note on the, the 12th fret. So we're going... Uh, Seven, hit it again and slide to nine. Then seven G, back to nine D, and slide to twelve. So again, that's the generic way. Is just to. Okay, now the last one, and again, you can improvise through all those chords. You can pull on the claw, finger pick on the main thing, seems to be though doing the uh, hammer pull. Just uh, however you decide to do it, just try to make sure you put that in there. So you can actually just do that down here too. F. Which is after you just do, do F, regular F chord. Do open, one open. So So you and then go B1 G2 So you could So you don't have to do it up here. It's just easier for me. But you can do it down here. Okay. 
Okay, so the last time, instead of going... We're going to make it major all the way down. And he goes... So that goes 10, or 12, 10, 8, 6, and then it goes back to 10, 8, 6, and then it does 5, 5 on the D, B. So we're doing the regular start, 12, 10, 6, I'm sorry, 8, 6, 12, 10, 8, 6, and then go back to the second note of that walk down, to that one which is on the 10th, and I like to pull these, where you're pulling the bottom, and, or you're hitting the bottom with your pick or open finger, and then pulling on the uh, B string, instead of strumming, I don't know, so, so it does 12, 10, 8, 6, and then it goes back to 10, goes to 8, 6, and it adds like a regular C, which is a 5, 5. And then we get to the, oh, the. So that is So you can go which is just fourth fret to G uh, third fret B and I use my middle two fingers So you go four three on the G B and then just lower two frets to a two one on the G B. And then just lift them and play open G and B. Or I could I'd do a G. And just do, instead of doing this. G, which is just open G, third on the B and E, and then 2-1 on the G, B, and then open, open on the G, B, and then it goes, which is, uh, E three O and then B two and then B one and E three at the same time. So it's three open two one and three at the same time. So it's string, hammer, open to first, and then do G string second, so that's your first finger on the B, hammer, and open to one, then go on second finger on the G, second fret, and then go on to pinky on the E string. So open, hammer, one on B. 
second G, third E. And then just go. So after you go to the third on the E, you go back to the G. And then you go open E. And then so you're going open hammer one on the B. Two on the G, three on the E, two back on the G, open E, and then go back to two on the G, and then one on the B, back to two G. So you're just doing every other. It's like you're going 1, 2G, 3, 2G, open, 2G. second fret G and first fret B up to the third fret G and second fret B. So so you hit the second fret and, and slide it up to third and then hit third again. So front now. So we're going. At the end there, instead of going. When I played it live, I like to do it like this. So the rest of it's the same, it's just that uh, instead of going, which is cool, but I would go. same way then from there. So that is simple enough. You're taking your second finger on the G string, second fret, sliding up to four, and then going three on the B, back to four on the G. Then going three, hammer into five, back to three. With the, you can let the E string ring out on the top.
So two, slide to four on the G, go three B, four G, and then three, hammer to five on the B, and then back to three. And then, which is sliding on the, uh, from the second G, first B, to the third of G and second of B. And then go back to the second and first. And then do those three notes, which is open G, second D, open G. So it's like So, and then we do this. Which is, uh, and again, that, that part So that those little chords there go which is just B string, I'm sorry, G string, uh, seventh fret, third finger. It's like you're doing a sus kind of chord. So it's seventh on B, five, I'm sorry, seven G, five B, seven E, seven, five, seven on the G, B, E. And again, I use my first finger on the fifth and my third and fourth fingers on the G and the E. And we're coming off of So, simple enough. 7G, 5B, 7E. Then just do a flat uh, 555 on the G, B, E. down two frets and do that same sus chord but this time you're doing it on G5, B3, E5. So and then we're going to do the top part of a C bar chord. means we're going to go first finger on the E3, pinky on B5, third finger on G5. 553, five, 5G, five, 5B, five, 3E. Three, three so we're going... And then we're just going to do a top part of a B minor, which is the second E, third B, and fourth G. Four, three, two, G, B, E. So we got the sus, we got the A minor, we got the sus, we got the C, the B minor. So you really don't 
don't have to change your hand, your hand position much at all as far as the angle. one is. 